Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Kelly, SoCalHodaka on the web forums. Hey, there's been a lot of talk or some talk about how-to videos, so I thought I'd give one a try. Uh, this video is just going to be on uh, my cleanup of the bike after we raced it. Um, and so this is what I do to prep it for the next race. Uh, first I take it outside and give it a good wash. It was pretty muddy, so just a good pressure wash. You know, gently, I definitely watch out for what we spray. Um, and then one of the first things I do is I pull up the uh, fork seal covers. I make sure that this area right here is all dry and clean of debris. And then I wipe down the fork tubes, make sure there's no water deposits left on. And then I leave the, uh, the covers up to let that really air out. Next thing I do is I take a blue soft uh, Scotch-Brite with some WD-40 on it and I give the pipe a good cleaning. Um, and then I give the pipe, a, after I wipe it down, then I give it a good coat of WD-40 just to preserve it. Make sure all this area of the carburetor is clean. No junk. And I, uh, one thing that I like to do too is sometimes these uh, vent tubes get plugged up with dirt. Just, uh, make sure they, they are cleaned. Okay. Then after that, we go to the air box and pull the number plates off. Pull the air cleaner out and really wipe out the air box there. There's usually a bunch of dirt and debris down there in the bottom of the air box. Um, then we come over to the other side of the bike and uh, like to pull a chain off and clean the chain off the bike. Uh, it gives a good opportunity to check the wear of the chain and then also uh, check the wear of the sprocket. Make sure teeth are all good and get all that gunk and stuff that's all around the teeth cleaned out real well. Then as we come up here on the bike, I pull the shift cover off. There's usually a bunch of dirt or mud caked up in this area right here, so clean all that out. And then uh, leave the shift cover off. It gives it opportunity to uh, dry out. They're not sealed real well, so water will get in that uh, ignition area. So let the PVL, CDI points, whatever you have in there, gives it a chance to dry out any of the condensation or water. Um, so then over here, here's the chain. Already, I cleaned the chain with some solvent um, really well, and then we'll put it back on, give it a good lube. The shift cover inspect. Uh, you know, make sure there's no dirt, mud, and all that on caked up around there, and then we'll give that a good cleaning and then some grease in there. I like to go over the bike like to use the Pro Prep from Sokaline. Um, it works, works really well on the plastics. Um, I even spray underneath the fenders. It helps with the cleanup. The mud doesn't seem to stick as much. And plus they are a good uh, sponsor of Hodaka and Hodaka Days. So then there's the air cleaners. They're, they're drying right now. I cleaned them. I'll let them dry for about a day, get them real dry, and then it will oil them up and, uh, and then reinstall that. And then that's about it. After we get it all back together, then um, we'll do an oil change on it and we'll be ready to roll for the next race. So again, this is my first attempt at a video. Hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think and um, we'll go on maybe do another one. All right. Thanks for watching.